Good morning to you. Welcome to Morning Live on SABC TV. Good morning for you and your, and your viewers. Now, just tell us, what is the task of the commission? And, and just briefly, the terms of reference, just to refresh people's memories. Now, you remember that uh, the terms of reference basically outline that uh, the commission is empowered to investigate uh, matters of, of national and international concern that arose out of the events in the area commonly known as Marikana. So now, as a starting point, you, we are going to look at the, the conduct of a number of, of, of entities that are affected by this. Firstly, the SAPS, uh, you know, whether, uh, you know, there were acts or omissions and, uh, you know, legislation and, 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 the, and the scenario that, re, that resulted in, 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 in the tragedy and the shooting. And of course, what gave rise for the, to them, for example, to use the force that they did in, in the circumstances. They then we'll look at a, a NUM, uh, uh, you know, basically what were the, the underlying factors that led to the conflicts uh, in that particular situation, whether they were able to do anything more uh, in the circumstances, AMCU, the same thing, uh, and then LONMIN, again, what sort of environment did they create in respect of, 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 the, of, of the issues in question, were they able to do better and so forth. The, the detail, the devil's in the detail. And okay. then we're going to look at government departments uh, and, and lastly, uh, loose individual groupings uh, to ascertain their responsibility for this particular tragedy. Now, this past week, of course, the spotlight has been on the police, as you describe, uh, just the journey to be traveled by the commission. Lots of criticism leveled at the way that they handled the situation. Uh, from what has come through, is it a sense that perhaps uh, the criticism of the police has been fair? Well, uh, we are, that question is a question that I'll answer probably in a month's time uh, or, or, or within uh, at the start of, of, of the coming year. The, right now, the commissioners are, are listening they are viewing, they are ab absorbing the information that is coming through. Of course, a lot of it is on public record for people to see. People have seen the pictures of, of, of the alleged planting of, of, of weapons after the fact and so forth. So it's not really about the fact that at this stage, we're not in a position to, to, to say this is what uh, the commission is going to recommend. Uh, it, it, there will be interim reports coming through. And then from there, we will be able to actually say this, this is the position. But because it's an independent, impartial commission, it cannot make pronouncements as early as this. Okay. So today, Minister Natim Tetwa is going to be there. Is he going to testify? What's, what's his presence about? Well, the, 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 the parties that are, are, are involved, as, I, as I've noted, you've got your nooms, you've got your, your, your non-mins and so forth. You know, executives, uh, the, the police commissioner has been here because they're interested parties. Okay. Uh, as and when a, 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 a witness is, 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 is subpoenaed, and the, 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 the commission has the power to subpoena a witness. Uh, so the minister uh, is not to, subpoenaed, to he's just coming there as an observer. For the, for, for the moment, yes. Yeah. Uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. The fact that in future, again, with, with Mr. Ramaphosa, I, uh, it really depends on any one of the parties or the commissioners to actually issue a subpoena. Uh, and alternatively, as Mr. Ramaphosa himself has made himself available to, to, to actually uh, testify before the commission. But as I've already said to a lot of individuals who've asked me this question, his role is, uh, and his input is not really a priority given what we are doing right now. Remember, right now we're looking at phase one or theme one of the commission's work, which is really uh, examining the events from the 9th to the 16th of, of, of August uh, 2012. And there we're looking at uh, the facts that led to the events themselves, the accountability, for example, uh, 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 investigating the lawfulness of, uh, of, of, of the SAPS action. Uh, and then, of course, we'll, we'll also look at... Uh, whether the, 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 the protesters can be held accountable for the, for the deaths of, of, of their fellow, fellow minors. And of course, the direct causes and, and legal responsibility of deaths and damage to property at that time. So okay. Mr. Ramaphosa's uh, you know, input will be necessary, but it, it's not a priority his right name, now. His name has come up, though. His name has come up quite prominently. Email that he, he is said to have sent uh, has come up, and it has been discussed. Why is it not a priority now? 
As I'm saying, we are, we, we are currently uh, seized with the, with, the, with the conduct of the SAPS uh, in particular. And of course, remember, we're, we're, we're currently seized with, in, with, with issues of what led people to die on that particular day and, 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 and uh, you know, the, 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 the core issues. It, it, Mr. Ramaphosa's emails will be a subject of, 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 the, uh, you know, of, of the commission's discussions, as has been tabled, for example, by Advocate Dalimpo for, 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 the, for the parties. Okay. But we, 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 as, we, as, as I've noted, we're looking at a legal causation. Legal, legal causation is, is the, the, the number one priority in this particular case. Okay. The issue right. of moral uh, responsibility and other issues will come uh, at a later stage. Okay. Thank you very much. Kevin Malunga is spokesperson for the Falam Commission, joining us from Rustenburg. Thank you very much.